it's finally time to take a look at my 2021 goals. Hey there, comic fam. Welcome back to Climbing Comics. I'm Alan, and in today's sesh, I'll be going over my 2021 goals and whether I have achieved them or not, or if I've had to make any modifications. So as many of you know, um, just as a reminder, my 2021 was considered my year of X. So here I was trying to collect um, X-Men 95 up until uh, 130. Back in 2020, I had started my X-Men collection with um, 131 to 140, the Dark Phoenix Saga. So I wanted to fill in the earlier Claremont run with, with the beginning of this. So also one of my stretch goals this year, and um, one of, I would say, now have to be put in the back burner because it is one of the more difficult to obtain books was X-Men number one. So that's gonna be in my long-term goals and that ties in into my 2022 goals. So to, to start us off, one of the things that I wanted to mention is that between the 95 to 130, I had to make a couple adjustments. Um, knowing in about February of 2021 that it would be very unlikely for me to obtain an X-Men 1, I decided to shift my goals and bring in a future goal into 2021 and kind of also make some modifications. Originally, I thought I would be going for X-Men 1, but instead I went for a different book, a different grail of mine, um, and I have a completely separate video on it, and um, hopefully you'll be able to, to see that soon. But to start us off, let me just show you some of these gorgeous books and some of the stories that came behind me obtaining them. So first off, I'd like to start off with um, X-Men 130, first appearance of Dazzler, amazing cover. Thanks to uh, Jason at No Good Comics and John from John's Comics with Kids to talk about the Omni X-Men um, run uh, with Chris Claremont. This was one of the, the cool books there. This was actually first owned by my LCS owner. I bought a couple of books from him when I bought the 131 to 140 run. I bought um, a set of books or a lot of books um, because I knew I wanted to do something even earlier than 130. And I'm glad I did that in 2020 because it filled in some gaps of where I wanted to go with 2021. So I let him know that these are coming to a good home and that I will truly keep uh, take care of them. And that kind of also goes along with my X-Men 129. So with 129, this is first Kitty Pride, first Emma Frost, Sebastian Shaw, and the Hellfire Club. Sorry for the glare here. So I had to put this in a top loader. I knew this was gonna be a, um, a big book uh, going into 2020, so I'm glad I got it from him. Some other places I went uh, for, for some books is like Reese's Rare Comics. So this is one of the books that I got from Reese's Rare Comics, number 128. Actually got another 128. So that other 128 came from um, my comic shop. I remember 127, great cover. This also came from my LCS. Oh, these, these two actually, um, one number 126, one came from my LCS, another came from the Berkeley Comic Show. I was hunting at the Berkeley Comic Show and I found that there. So very cool spot to hunt for books. I found number 125 there as well. I have two copies of 124. I know I got one from my LCS. Um, shout out to Carrie from um, King, Kong, King Kong Comics and Games. I have here 123. I'm not exactly sure where I got these. 122. I love that Colossus cover when he's in that in that danger room being smashed. Here we have number 121. So this one is actually from my comic shop. You could you could see it in the in the back here. Um, I don't know if you could see that. Uh, they kind of give a grade there. So hopefully. I will do this as part of my grading series in the future. I got number 120 from, it looks like qualitycomics.com. 
And here's number 119. It looks like it's bagged and boarded in a larger, it looks like a golden age book. So yeah, actually I remember where this was from. So this was from online on Instagram, Instagram, Young Comics Collects. So I bought a bunch of books from him. I know he was selling a lot of the early 100s X-Men books. So I bought um, a bunch of books from him, a great seller, a great packaging, and I had, um, you know, a good interaction with him. So this is number 119. Number 118, you could tell that um, it has that that larger backing board. So this is also obtained from Young Comics Collects. So here we have X-Men number 117. Um, this one is a pretty cool one. This is where you actually see, um, what's his name? The Shadow King fighting a Psy War with uh, Professor Xavier and see how powerful he is. Number 116, again, you could see from the larger backing board, you know where that's from. Number 115. Number 114, I think this one was the, the first time you see the uncanny up top. You guys could correct me if I'm wrong on the, the, on the comment section below. But this one was also from my comic shop and it actually has a grade here for this raw book. I believe they do their own grading. So hopefully I'll show this off in my grading series. Number 113, getting down there. Oh, this is one of my favorite covers. Number 112. So this is where you see Magneto kind of really taking over the magnetic properties of Colossus and Wolverine. You see him kind of about to stab himself and whatnot. But this one was a, a pretty crazy cover when I first saw this. I've seen this cover multiple times. So I got this from um, Fantastic Comics in, in Berkeley. Uh, so this one was uh, another cool find when I was hunting out in the wild. Number 110, I'm not exactly sure where I got this one from, but this one was a, a cool book to, to fill out this run. So here we have 109. So this is a pretty cool cover. I know this is kind of one of those books that are harder to obtain now, uh, where you have Al Weapon Alpha against uh, Weapon X or Wolverine here. Okay, this is actually, this actually might be my favorite of the run. So this is X-Men 108. So here you really see the, the true power of the Phoenix. And this one was one of my favorite, even though it might not necessarily um, be a key. Other than actually John Byrne's first art might have been in this book. Yes, John Byrne's first art was, must have been in this book. So this is a key in that way in terms of artists, but um, one of my favorite books because it shows the true power of the Phoenix. Now we have 107. 106, again, you see the, the larger backing board. 105 104 here's that homage cover to x-men 1 but with the new x-men team here you don't see ice mana or like gene gray or beast in there 103 102 this one is pretty cool because you have a date stamp here um, I believe, where did I get this? I believe I obtained this probably from an LCS, probably from an LCS. All right, here come some of the bigger boys. So um, it was hard to find a X-Men uh, 101 that was raw in the grade that I wanted to, um, that I thought was a fair price for it. So I went for the slab and I, I got a pretty good deal because I made an offer on eBay and I got this guy right here. It has really good colors. This is the, the first origin and first appearance of the Phoenix, one of my favorite books. Another cover, which is one of my favorite, is um, X-Men 100. Here we go. This is, spoiler alert, um, the X-Men that are fighting each other are real X-Men versus robot X-Men. That was pretty cool. Number 99. I love that cover. I love the, the space theme and how they bring in Lalandra and the Shi'ar Empire into um, these kind of earlier issues. Here we have uh, number 98. Number 
Oh, okay. And here we have um, 97. Oh, so this one, 97, I believe I was one of my first purchases from Shortbox. And I had a, a great interaction with the seller and having Shortbox there to help mediate that uh, whole transaction um, had me very comfortable with this interaction. Okay, so these, I got two copies of 96. The main reason is, so this 96 has um, some, some staining here. And this one, this 96, I got from an LCS Cape and Cowell Comics. Thank you, shout out uh, to Aton and crew over there. 95, there you go. So these are my main books that I wanted to obtain for 2020. Because I knew I could not obtain an X-Men number one, I decided to bring in a couple of books from my future pickups to 2021. And what better way to fill this run other than obtaining X-Men 94, first book uh, by Chris Claremont on the X-Men series. This is um, maybe not one of my favorite covers of this whole run, but just historically, this is a, a really good book um, because it is the beginning of a new saga with uh, Claremont taking over that. So one of the other things so this one may come out of left field. So I brought a book that was a grail of mine from the future into 2021, kind of the present. And I had a really good interaction. I was been hunting for this book and I ended up finding this guy, um, Will, um, WP underscore Arker on Instagram. And he was selling this book. And I obtained this book from him Strange Tales 110, first appearance of Doctor Strange. Um, the interaction I had with him was great. It went from a very good owner of this book to another very good owner of this book who will really take care of it. And um, this is an amazing book to have and I'm still in awe. I, I purchased this about, you know, probably eight months ago. I got my last book of this whole 2020 run run. Um, I got X-Men 94 on the last week of December and, you know, from, from front to end, this has been a successful year. I've also made it a, um, a goal of mine to build out my Instagram and um, continue to work on my YouTube channel. So those are definitely two things that I, I feel that I've succeeded at, but I wanted to, I want to do more in uh, 2022, but I think just looking at, um, Kind of, let me just, for an example, just like these stack of books that I have obtained in 2021 have really brought me one step closer to where I want my collection to be um, at the end of at the end of my collecting. So I'm collecting these with the long term in mind. So I want to thank all of the people that helped me get and reach my 2021 goals from those folks that I met on on Instagram, for example, Will and uh, from Young's Comics Collect, and uh, those from, I guess, like all these different websites and, and eBay, these auction sites, and especially my local comic book shop owners, um, Kerry and David uh, from King Kong, uh, Kevin and Aton from Keep and Cowell Comics, Cole Tyler and Josh from Crush, and of course, Yule from um, Fantastic. So all you guys, thank you so much for, for helping me get to my goal. I also wanted to give a special shout out to my buddy Johnny, um, who's supported me throughout this collecting. And, you know, I forgot to mention this, but so X Men 96, I mentioned that uh, I obtained this from um, my LCS, Cape and Cowell Comics. So Johnny was actually the one that was able to make it to that LCS to pick it up for me. I was not able to pick it up that week, but I wanted to make sure that someone that I knew kind of like had it in hand. So definitely thank you, Johnny, for, for grabbing this. Uh, this has been a really cool adventure and hopefully my 2022 goals continue to build on this. So stay tuned for that video to come out. If you do like this content, don't forget to give me that thumbs up, subscribe, and click that bell icon so you're notified of when I come out with new videos. So from my comic journey to yours, make it your own. Thanks all. Bye.